Guys, it has been a while since I've done a draft and we are so back. Today I'm going to be using a random number generator and whatever it lands on, we gotta pick somebody who wears that jersey. Number. On the surface level, it's very easy, you know? But once we actually have to start drafting players, let's say we got a random number like 59. Does anyone even wear that? We're gonna find out. But before we get to that random, we must first conquer this one. Which team will we be using? It is the Boston Bruins. Jabroni, it's been a long time, but... We're going right back to where we started. See you later, pal. Obviously, fantasy draft has to be on. Salary cap, yep. GM firing, no, because owner mode's gonna be off. No, let's turn these two off. Oh, I would never leave Fog of War on anyway, but player morale, sometimes. All right, let's get after it. I'm gonna say we get pick number 27. I just feel like we're gonna have a late one. I don't know, just kind of came into my head. 20, okay, that's decent. For the first time, let's generate and we get number five. Why is it? I don't like that it's, like, gray, almost. There we go. Inspect element, always coming in clutch. Jersey number five. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Come on, Miro, you couldn't have added one to that? I've seen quite a few single jersey numbers, but I have yet to see a five. Would it be easier to just, like, look this up? All right, I think I found my guy. Now I just gotta find my guy. And he should be right around here somewhere. I think his overall should be 87. There's no way. Okay. Aaron Ekblad, 87 overall, number five. Let's get it done. Let me hit you with that generate. Number 71. Okay. Look no further than your boy Dylan Larkin. This is going okay so far. It could be better, but you know what? I am absolutely going to take the two players we have. Give me a goalie number. Generate number... Asking you shall receive. I'm actually not super gassed about our options, but Gus is gonna have to do 84 overall as the starter. Sign him up. And now we are back to pick number 13. Generate, it is number 21. Aw, uh, Jason Robertson or Braden Point would have been so nice. I'm going a little bit off the board with this one and drafting Nils Hoaglander. Number 11 or number 16 would be nice. And we get number two. Wonderful. You know what? He might still be here. Keep your eyes peeled for Evan Bouchard. I can't imagine him being lower than 85 overall, but... I guess it's possible. All right, no, he's definitely gone. Back to the drawing board. Artem Zub, not a terrible consolation. Uh, generate, we get number 78. That is a bit of an unhinged number. We currently only have two forwards. You know what? I guess we only have two D in a goalie, but still, not ideal. And we are grabbing another defenseman in Damon Severson. 85 overall. Very nice. Ka boom. 65. Well, I thought there was a sliver of a chance that EK65 would still be here just because his salary is insane, but no. I have a feeling that the next player in line should still be here, otherwise we could be in trouble. There he is, and even has an ability. Come on, Ilya. Round eight, let's generate. Come on, that's pretty good. Uh, 36. Ooh. Oh, he is still here. I did not see that coming whatsoever. 87 overall, that is very ideal. Here we go again. Number 68. Very close to being nice. It's either him or two guys I've never heard of and it would take me forever to find. So 4.5 million for 80 overall is quite the opposite of what we're looking for here, but sometimes you gotta bite the bullet. And this will be our halfway mark, number 38. I feel like Boone Jenner comes to mind, but he's, uh, maybe. There's actually quite a few players. We have Hagel, Hartman, Jenner, or Rasmus Sandin. So we're definitely gonna find one. It's just a matter of which one is the best for us to pick right now. We do only have one right winger at the moment. Couldn't find the other two. And I don't really want to take a defenseman right now. So we're going for Hartman. Give me a number. 75. Nothing. Absolutely drew a blank. Looks like we will probably be drafting a defenseman if Clifton is here. And he is. Another right-handed defenseman. I'm pretty sure that we have an abundance of those already. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Limited options here, people. I just don't want to get, like, number 68 again or something because that is going to be impossible. But we will be getting number 10. I like that one. Should be able to find someone easily. Panarin's obviously long gone. Huberdeau probably went somewhat recently... I don't think we're going to be getting veneers this late. Oh no, Boone Jenner was still here. That's fine though. We already had three centers at the time. What? So we do got Nicholas here. He's a center slash right wing. However, we do already have three. Wait, no, we have one center. What? Oh my goodness. I was looking at them wrong. Well, on that note, Nicholas it is. And there goes Boone. What a sad story. I, I don't know where, how did I read that wrong? It's literally right in front of me. Whatever. Mistakes were made. 
Well, let's find out. 13, that should be easy as well. Actually, I lied because 13, a lot of good players wear that number. Probably already gone. Brandon Tanev is the first one I came across. And again, adding a left winger. Now we're at four of those. Show me the money. Boom. 78 again. Is Brody still here? He is indubitably. He's also left-handed, which is phenomenal. Five million, not so much, but... What have I said many times now? Slim pickings. For pick number 15, they will have to be jersey number 60. This could be tough. Once again, I lied. Stop doing that. 60 is apparently a goalie number. Chris Dreger, welcome aboard. Generate number 38. Oh, well... Could have had Boone Jenner. I think Sandine and Ferraro are gone. Well, apparently, Kale Clegg is supposed to wear that number, but he's not. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam O'Brien. It's gonna have to do. Only a few picks remaining, number 49. Why? Actually, we got a few players to work with here. A couple of them are already gone, but I think the other two should be hanging around somewhere. Wow, just what we needed, another left winger. Harvey Pinard, is this a guy that got like a hat trick in his first game? I sort of feel like Max Jones is a center. He's also a left winger, so never mind. I'm crazy. We are going back to Harvey Pinard. The impressive thing here is actually our salary cap. I feel like we're gonna be just within it, which is unbelievable. Throw me a bone here. Give me something. That might work. Update, definitely not gonna work because Andre Burakovsky and Matt Duchesne are long gone. There is literally one guy I can look for, one. And I'm gonna do a quick look. If I don't see him, then we might have to re-roll. Just to give you an idea of what we're looking for here, Needle in a Haystack. This guy's played one NHL game. Well, one this year, anyway, I should say. So he should exist. Definitely gonna be here somewhere. But if I don't see him on the first scroll through, I am not doing this again. Well, this is our guy. It says he wore number 95, but then there it says 92. Using Hockey DB, I have confirmed that the one game he played this year for New Jersey, he wore number 95. So, Graham Clark, welcome aboard. The penultimate pick, we still need one defenseman and one forward. Doesn't really matter positions that much. And the number will be 60. I swear we've already done this. Can confirm we have in fact done this. It was Dreacher. We could have our bacon saved, however, by a defenseman that should still be here. Famous last words, I know. No, I don't want Ledoux. I want Lacombe. Well, never mind on that one. All right, bit of a situation here. I could just re-roll, but I'm going to take Justus because he is number 60. And will we have to do 21 picks? Yeah, but hey, at least I didn't re-roll. Lacombe is the only player that has been in the NHL this year wearing that number. So we are back to having our penultimate pick because where's EK65 when you need him? This started so well and we have just fallen off a cliff at the end here. I feel like I'm gonna get Arthur right this from constantly pressing the down button. I don't wanna do a reroll. They have to be here somewhere. I'm still seeing some player names I recognize, so it's possible that they are this low. Not looking good. I'm looking for a dude named Maxwell Crozier? Crozier? Played for Tampa Bay a few games this year. Apparently he's a defenseman, so this should make it a little bit easier if he does in fact exist. Oh, Maxwell, where are you? Oh, oh, yes, yes, there he is, number 65. I don't even care that he's a right-handed defenseman. At this point, it, he could shoot no hand. He could use his feet for all I care. Get in, come on. And the final jersey number will be number 76. I think we should be able to get someone. All we need is Martin. That's it. Marty the one man party. Oh no, apparently he's 79 overall. He's gone, are you kidding me? Unless maybe he's not a center in this game? Nope, definitely gone. You couldn't have just given me an easy number, eh? Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have seven defensemen, but sometimes it just be like that. One of them's gonna play forward. I don't see our team doing well, but you never know. Okay, I was gonna say, if he is not here, I'm gonna lose it. So it says number 20. Hold on. All right, yeah, once again, it says number 25 there, but I just checked Hockey DB. The one game he's played for Edmonton this year, he wore jersey number 76. So our final selection, Philip Kemp. That's what our team looks like. I'm gonna have to stop recording and restart because this literally took an hour to just do the drafts and my camera storage is not it. So yeah, I'll uh, advance beyond here and then have to restart recording. And just like that, we are back. I will go ahead and simulate to the regular season, and I already sent down two imposters because they tried to sneak their way onto the team, and I was not going to allow it. So in other words, when I do edit lines here, we go see them, it should be our team. I shouldn't have to worry about any maneuvers. Here we go. 
Yeah. Uh, no. Jabroni, I already told you to stay away. I mean, it's not horrible, but if we even get close to sniffing a playoff spot, I'm gonna be amazed. We have a right defenseman playing center. Are you kidding me? 50 face-offs? Throw one of the... Yeah, 70. Get him in there. And then for our defense, we have... Oh, no. No. Something must be done here. So he actually shoots left, but... Yeah, we do have a lot of right-handed defensemen, like I said. Okay, that will do. And yet we have Gus and Chris. And of course, we're rolling four lines. We can't have one of the coaches that just plays the three lines. No. It's got to be like a 31-win season, if that, right? That's my prediction, anyway. Hopefully, they prove me wrong. But I don't see it happening. Most likely, they won't even bother stopping at the trade deadlines. I don't think it's going to do much for us. Not like we can really trade anyway. I guess we could trade a jersey number for the same jersey number. Now, hold on. We are 2-0 out of the gate here. Now nah, we got to crash. There's no way. Three wins in a row. Let's go, Bruins. Then we take an L to the Jets, but another dub. We take one point. Now we're definitely starting to get to the territory of the record that I would expect us to have. Except we go on a four game winning streak. How does that even happen? Five games? Could have been six. Really? Why'd you have to lose there? All right, fine. I'll go into the trade deadline just to see who's available. Enter. Is there gonna be anybody good? Maury. And we have Jacob as well, Pulock. There's definitely some good players available, but we are not going to be taking any of them. Are you seriously? I was going to maybe try to go after Huberdo and they just traded him. Whatever. I've had it. Get me out of here. TVR and Chris Kreider headed to the Golden Knights in exchange for a first Wahlberg. That is a long list of assets right there, St. Louis. Vinny Trocek headed to the Blues in exchange for Carson Soucy, a second and a third. David Reinbacker in a second to Philly in exchange for another laundry list here. How many trades is there? A first to the Blues in exchange for Gord. What's your strategy here, St. Louis? Oh, wait, were they the ones that got Reinbacker? Or was that Philly? I don't know, I'm losing track. But either way, they're either really building for the future, which there isn't one because this is a one-year draft, or they got Trocek or someone and they're also getting a first, which is a weird strategy. And then we beat them right off the deadline. Love to see it. Hit the 30 mark. We're so close. Okay, one more win. Yeah, there it is. We got the 30 on the season. I chalked that up as a W. Might as well start the playoffs. We're not in them, which I don't think anybody expected us to be. Stanley Cup final pause here. It is the Golden Knights and the Carolina Hurricanes. And Colorado won the President's Trophy. So let's check out those three rosters. The Jerks have Bedard already up to 90 overall, playing with Rupe Hints and Broccoli. Hyman Gord and Bjorkstrand, great second line. Their third line also very... They just have a good team. Offensively, they're set. Defense is interesting. They have Nate Schmidt on the first pair with Anderson. And then they have Petrie and... Pionk. Oh, wow. And they have Joseph Wallenet, who is number 60, one of the goalies we could have drafted, actually. The Avs have Freddie Anderson, backed up by Ilya. That explains a lot right there. They have McDavid. Duchesne, who we could have drafted, number 95, but we got the number too late. Defensively, Sanderson Montour, that is a nasty first pair. Vlasic Falk, Carrier Johnson, all right. Golden Knights have Robert Thomas, Lucas Raymond, and Chris Kreider. No goals. On the offense. Defensively, Wierenski and McAvoy. So yeah, that's stellar. And then they have Cole with Lilligren, White Cloud, and Brandstrom. Nice. Oh, and they got the nervous guy in net. I think someone should ask him. Maybe he is a little nervous this time around. Now the question is, who's going to take it all? And it is the Carolina Hurricanes. I feel like they did that pretty convincingly. It was like maybe five games? We did finish last in the division. So that is heartbreaking. But let's see where we finished in the league. We might... Have been able to pass one team? Beautiful. We beat the Pity Pens. What a fall from grace from this old rivalry. Let's see what they got. Philip Forsberg, Quinton Byfield, and Alex Tuck. Shane Wright is a scratch. Interesting strategy. They also got Quinn Hughes. Matt's had no business getting this many points. 74. And then 70 from Larkin. So that first line actually kind of did their job. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I expected they wouldn't. So... Good for them. Quite the growth from Hoaglander. He went up to 86. Even Hartman went up to 86. The goalies kept it above 900, which is respectable. Three shutouts for Gus. Ekblad was a dash 25, but he had 36 points. Minus five Severson, but 33 points. Kill McCarr wins an Art Ross. This is the second time I've seen this happen recently. 104 points, beating out J-Rob by just one. He only had 16 goals, which, I mean, he's a defenseman. So, Willie had 99. 
Seb had 98. Frederick would have the most wins this year. He also had a 915. But how about Jakey? Oh, a 927 save percentage, 43 wins. 71 games played too. The next closest defenseman was Quinn Hughes and he was not close. The team awards we are already familiar with, but let's check out the individual trophies, which we already kind of know as well. Art, Hart, and Norris all go to Kale. Well-deserved. What an absolutely incredible season it was for him. Sebastian Aho, just a gentleman, gets the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Bedsy. No surprise here. Rupe hints with the Con Smythe. Oh, I forgot to check playoff stats. We'll go do that quick after this. Jake Ottinger with the Vesna and the Jennings. Jack guy gets the Masterton. Locke had a Jack Adams worthy season. Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie. Kel McCarr, just another one. And Austin Matthews gets the Rocket Richard. So Rupe had 29 points, 28 from Bedsy. And we had 25 from Jarvis, as well as Hyman. Only a 9.05 from Wall, but I guess they just got it done offensively. Bennington had a 9.10. Vazzy down here with a 9.23. Noah Dobson was point a game for his squad, 17 points. And as much games played, Charlie McAvoy also had 17 points, but it took him 22 games. It was a five-game final. But there you have it. All right, so that was the random number jersey draft. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you have other draft ideas, go ahead and let me know. On that note, I'll see you soon.